75 years of lies. That is what the Nakba mythology is. In 1948, seven Arab armies invaded the newly declared state of Israel with explicit intent to destroy it. Why? Not because it was their land, it wasn't. There was never a state of Palestine. Not because it prevented them from having a state, in fact, they were offered one in the UN partition plan and of course they refused. Not because they were endangered, in fact it was the Arab leaders who told the Muslims to flee, not the Jews. And by the way, the Arabs that stayed got full citizenship in Israel. No. The real reason they launched a war is because they refused to accept that Jews came home to the land of Israel in any borders. The Nakba, which means catastrophe in Arabic, does not mourn the handful of Arab families who were adversely affected by war. It mourns the failure of Arabs to commit a genocide against the Jews. So yes, Nakba commemoration is literally embracing Jew hatred and inciting lies based on historical falsehoods that contribute to conflict today. And that's the real travesty. Instead of moving forward and building a better future, so-called Palestinian activists are obsessed with the past, a past that they are flat out lying about in many cases. And what's even more shameful than this genocidal historical revisionism is the fact that the United Nations this year, for the first time, just a minute after rockets were being shot to kill Israeli civilians, decided to adopt Nakba Day. Let me be absolutely clear. The United Nations has officially declared that they support the eradication of a Jewish state. And here's my message to all of them. We, the Jewish people, are an ancient and powerful culture. We have survived thousands of years of persecution and we are not going anywhere. All of the nations and all of the people who have risen up against us have failed and they are now gone. We will never apologize for celebrating our right to self-determination in our indigenous homeland. And we will never stop celebrating our independence, declared this week in 1948. Bigotry, racism, and hatred will never win. The Jewish people, however, we are eternal.